Daddy, December is coming. Daddy buy shoe for me. Christmas is coming. Daddy buy cloth for me. December is coming. Daddy give me money. Daddy, you will spend money on me this Christmas. So you will take me to amusement park. You will take me to Father Christmas. Please. Oh no, it's enough. The bills are piling up. You know what? I have heard, I've heard, I've heard, I've heard, okay? Go and serve me breakfast. Where's your mommy? Call your mommy for me. I need to have my breakfast now so I can go out. Honey, sorry. Sorry breakfast is late. Ah, your daughter came to call me now, said you were hungry. Well, she has been singing December. is got me daddy buy this for me. These kids, they don't know the hustle. They don't know how difficult it is to provide for the family. Especially this December period. Christmas and New Year, they want new clothes, they want new shoes, they want to go to new places. Uh, you have to provide food on Christmas, food on New Year. You have visitors coming over. It's not easy. Honey, let me warn you. Me, I will not say December is coming. My own song is different. I will tell you January is coming, daddy pay their school fees. January is coming, daddy buy uniform. See, January is coming, oh. you will have to pay her school fees, buy her new books, buy her new school sandals and pay all the bills. So don't overspend during this December period though. More expenses are coming in January. And as you know, January is always the longest month of the whole year. It never seems to finish because of the financial hardship that comes with it. So you have to be smart. Oh. You know what? Just give me my food. Give me my food, please. Give me my food. Ah, Oga Landlord. Your call scared me. You sounded very urgent. I had to leave everything I was doing and come immediately. Hope no problem, sir. Uh, Victor, there's no problem. Uh, I just wanted to remind you that uh, your house rent is due by January. Uh, so I'm just letting you know to prepare your mind. Because a lot of people... They will come and be giving me excuses. Oh, I spent a lot of money during the December, during Yuletide, so I can't pay the house rent. I will not condone any of such excuses from anybody. I'm just letting you know. Uh, oh, oh, okay, sir. There's, there's no problem. Thank you. Thank you, landlord. Thank you, sir. Uh, I'll take my leave now. My son, Victor. It's a good thing that you came with your wife. Uh, there's something I need to point out. Uh, information reaching me says that every year during Christmas, you take one whole ram to your wife's father. Me, I'm your father. Don't I deserve a ram too? So starting from this Christmas, you must bring me my ram. As you are taking a ram to your father-in-law, you must bring one here to me. That is what I want this December. Daddy, don't worry. He will bring you a ram, a very big one. So this year, we'll buy two rams. One for my dad, one for you. Daddy, don't worry. My baby is capable. You be Mumu. I'm not saying I would not buy the two rams, though. but please. Don't add baby to it again. I'm not your baby. For your information. Ah uh ah, -uh. Oga Victor, you came to shop at this boutique. It's very nice to see you. Ah, but you, you have not been picking my calls. Why now? They have left you behind. My brother, don't be angry. So many things I have to sort out. Uh, you know, December is coming and um, Christmas is fast approaching. I just decided to come and do some shopping for the family. You know. Continue. Even as you are spending, you have to be very strategic because you need to invest. You remember the online platform I was telling you some weeks ago? 
This is the best time for you to invest in it and start making some money. Don't spend all the money for family responsibility. <laughs> Make sure you invest in this online business today. Now that I've seen you, just try to send the money into the company account and, you know, start making some money. Hey, 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 shut up. Don't even go there. You cannot tell me to abandon my family responsibilities so as to invest in one Ponzi scheme that you have been advertising. What is the problem? Why is it that promoters of Ponzi schemes always get very desperate in the ember months leading to December? You have been calling my number on auto redial for the past two weeks and I've been respectful enough to ignore the calls because I have a lot on my mind. What is it? Is it by force? I only want you to partake of the increment in ROI for December bonus. There is a promo going on. Instead of the normal 1.5% per day returns, you are going to be earning 5% per day in returns. I don't want you to miss out. That is why I am calling your number every day so that you can participate. Wow, typical Ponzi strategy. Hmm. They are doing promo because December is coming. Oh, December is always a very terrible month for Ponzi schemes. Why? Because everybody has expenses. You have to prepare for the Yuletide, buy good clothes for the kids, take them out shopping, provide for the family, provide good food for your family and all the guests that will come visiting, send some stuff to your parents-in-law and your parents as well. Because of that, you people don't have new pitas to rob. Nobody wants to invest during the December time because of all these expenses. Any Peter you meet will tell you, Oh, Mr. Paul, you can only rob me in January because I have a lot of things to spend money on in this December month. And those that are existing members just like you, they are all busy withdrawing. Everybody is trying to withdraw from the system in the month of December. The system is going to have a backlog of withdrawal requests, more than they can ever process. And it is terrible because the modus operandi of a Ponzi scheme is they need new money. They rob Peter to pay Paul. Now that there's no Peter to rob and the existing Pauls in the system, they have refused to compound. Rather, they are all trying to withdraw. That is why Ponzi schemes get desperate during the Ember months and they collapse around December. And that is what is the issue with you. You have become so desperate. Even the Ponzi scheme you are marketing, they are desperate. They have increased their ROI from 1.5% up to 5% per day just to lure people in. Ooh, I will still not do. I am not interested. By the way, why did this Ponzi scheme you are advertising stop withdrawals? Somebody told me, I heard from a reliable source, that you guys can no longer withdraw. What is the problem? Uh, the truth of the matter is that uh, they blocked withdrawal of profit. You can't withdraw your profit or your capital. The only thing you can withdraw now is referral bonus. When you bring in somebody new and they invest, you can get your referral bonus and withdraw it. That is why I am really pushing for you to enter. Because uh, if I get a referral bonus, I will be able to withdraw it. <laughs> like seriously? You think you can make me invest in a Ponzi scheme? <laughs> you must be joking. Now, it is obvious that they need new money to process you people's withdrawals. That is why they said that you can only withdraw referral bonus. When you bring in new money from a new Peter that is to be robbed, you get a share of the robbery. That's what they are saying. As for profit that they say you cannot withdraw, when you log in, that profit you see, they are just computer-generated digits. It is automated. Every day, the computer will assign you 1.5% increment of your money. This is a classic Ponzi scheme. And I'm not going to fall for it. I do not have money for that. And I don't think anybody who is responsible will have money to lose to a Ponzi scheme in this Ember month. When there are so many things to spend money on. And January is coming. More bills are waiting.
please, please lower your voice. Don't allow the sales girl to hear. I already told her about the platform and she promised me that she will invest. If she hears all that you are saying now, you will spoil market for me. I quite agree with you. I wanted to exit the Ponzi around October. But you know, they block withdrawal very early. They are also very smart. Now we cannot earn any money unless we bring in new people. And nobody wants to enter into the Ponzi scheme now. Everybody is saying January because they have expenses to spend. Do you know the number of Ponzi schemes that collapse in the ember months towards the end of the year when everybody is withdrawing and nobody is willing to bring in money? It is very tough, my brother. I will advise that you look for something legitimate to invest your money into. Because legitimate businesses, they don't necessarily depend on new people coming into the system to pay the older people. They have a business. They have a service that is bringing in money. That service or business keeps bringing in money irrespective of the time of the year, whether December or not. As a matter of fact, legitimate businesses make more money during December period because prices of goods and services go up. Now, the higher the prices of goods and services, the more money the entrepreneur and his investors make. So, Sean Ponzi schemes. Sean money circulation and donation. Look for something legitimate.